Thomas is taking it. Oh, he liked the lure, huh? Yeah. You're good, you're good. Here, These cold still roads are all we'll ever find. And memories made from the trails we left behind along the way. I know. Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX. It's day two of my five day trip over here at the East Cut. Yeah, that's the campground back there. And there's a cut right here. My brother Junior is over here. He, he slept in his truck. So he left it on, it's a diesel. He left it on all night. And um, you know, so he just decided to move the truck further away from us. And he already has uh, at least one line in there. My buddy, John Paul Saucy, he had to leave. He had to work. He may be back. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. But uh, let me show you right now what I have here. I have our vehicles. Hey, you got some uh, people there hiking. How you doing? Friends, I have to slow it down here for a second. I didn't know this at the time, but the hikers going by our camp had an interesting story. According to news sources, Jay and Chrissy Kleberg were wrapping up a 370 mile journey as they walked the entire Texas coast. It was just a coincidence I was rolling video as they walked by. Good, good morning. And uh, you have my buddy over there, you know, in the back, uh, Noe. That is, by the way, my Gazelle uh, T4 tent the plus one that I used to have, he ended up uh, with it at the very end. Got my son over here, of course, my setup, Sandy. And uh, look at these hikers over here, man. It's pretty interesting. You know, they went to go and explore over there. That's awesome. I'm gonna try my luck at fishing. I'm gonna stick to this area right here. I like the proximity to camp. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast from there and see what happens. We all know that I am by no means an expert angler. I'm not, I wouldn't even consider myself an amateur angler. I just suck at fishing. For some of us that, who need a little help, you know, there's saltwater samurai. And my friend, he makes these awesome rigs, you know, from high quality products for all sorts of, you know, uh, applications. You got flounder, Carolina rigs, and uh, even uh, those uh, heavy, lines for uh you know targeting bull reds and shark and other you know uh, bigger species out there he also makes these quality weights okay and they're well made as you can see i'm gonna have his link information down below if you want to give them a try they are very affordable that's the other cool thing you'll be helping a texas business and most importantly you won't have those fish break off on you because of bad gear kind of like mid-morning uh, Robbie is trying something different. He's trying a spoon. I have cut mullet and uh, finger mullet on this other rod over here using saltwater samurai rigs. And uh, over here, we got Noe and my brother Junior. Uh, they're about to cast out and just uh, give it a try on their side as well. And Samantha is, and Nacho, they're uh, helping out with the breakfast portion of the camping experience. Since we're over here, they decided not to fish this time around. So uh, they're helping out with some of the other duties at camp. And uh, while well, we concentrate on the trying of fishing out there, but what's in the menu, Miha? Okay, bacon and egg tacos, and maybe throw a little cheese in there, and a little pico de, gallo. pico de gallo. Beautiful. Brother, you decided to sleep in your truck. What was your experience last night? Um, 
It was great. <laughs> I was able to shower, feel fresh, clean. Um, and I had AC all night. Um, of course, I've roughed it out before. Usually I do bring my tent, but in this case, I was cooking by myself. Decided to just go for it, rough it out. Completely forgot to leave a pick up the bag last night. As you all can see, the coons got to it. Coons. We're raccoons trying to get on our back porch. Mama just chasing them off with a broom. They wanted the leftover, the delicious leftover the delicious, rib bones yeah. and that's what happened to some of your live bait. It got stolen. Oh yeah, um, yeah. If you're not careful, even during the day, you think uh, they only come out at night, but even during the day, um, you'll have uh, right between the rocks, and you barely even see them because of their height. You know, some mullet sitting on top in a Ziploc bag on one of the rocks, and you think they're not high enough for jump, I don't know what they do. They ended up getting the bag and taking it down, and then later on we heard it's reaching and kind of peek out like in between the rock. Poison is the, is the queen. <sighs> so, look at this. Samantha's breakfast, so delicious. Guys, um, yeah, hadn't eaten anything all morning. Normally, I'm the one that does breakfast, we didn't do that, but I'm so grateful to Samantha. And Robbie's making coffee over there. Thank you, Nacho, for your help as well. This is uh, using the saltwater samurai rig. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, my goodness. Damn, it's taking it. You know? Oh my goodness! It sunk it in, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, he's there. Stingray, yeah. Stingray? No, that's a big stingray! Holy shit. No! <laughs> oh no! Tap him up. Hold the wheel so it doesn't slide on you and then just bring him up. Damn it. It's little. I would put him on the one you're at. It's a little more flatter. Yeah, I don't know. What does it mean? Yeah, we, we don't want to be on the same. Watch out, Junior. It's not worth it. Cut the line. Is the line? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a good fight. Yeah, dude. I was yeah. really. Huh? Oh, it almost fell out. Whoa. If you can't step on the tail, you're all right. Which one? 40? It's the saltwater uh, samurai, man. I took a little nap over here and then Robbie's like, Dad, check it out. Now, look what he's got. Yeah, I don't know what size it is. What do you it's think? It's a mackerel, but it looks like, I don't know, like 20 some inch. What type of mackerel was it again? A Spanish. Oh, Spanish. Spanish mac. mac. Yeah, that's yeah. my first Spanish mac. Yes, that's awesome, man. Yeah. Did it put up a fight? Oh, yeah, it did. And I what were you using? Look at that. Yeah, I was using this bait. Oh, he liked the lure, huh? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he tore yeah, it up. Yeah. Hey, man, well, maybe, uh, I don't know, you should fillet it and... and yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, put it in the cooler. Yeah, I'll freeze it right now. And that is so cool, you. son. Thanks. Congratulations. I was over here chilling, and I had a visit. I've only known them, really, from, you know, social okay. media, but I have my buddy... Brian and Cindy over here. Yeah, Brian. Hey, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. <laughs> you. I felt like I was on a spaceship. And uh, I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. <laughs> hey, Brian. So Brian is Brian has a Tacoma. Yeah. And Cindy, you have a Tacoma, I have too. A Tacoma too. Yeah, and you brought it over here. Really cool. Yeah. And, and so I've, I've, I've met them uh, briefly. During Tacoma World, I have them there in my in my side right there. Yeah, 
right here. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for dropping by, all right, oh. and uh, hanging out with me for a little bit, all right? Hey, so we're here with Jesse. Jesse, what are you going to try to do today, man? Catch some reds. Catch some reds. Cut my lid. All right, man. Let's see what comes out. All right. Well, get some for the for so the content, man. We need some sweet content. All right. Yeah. Hey. How's it going, Robert? All right, man. How you doing? This is William. I don't nice know to. Well, I've I've seen you in uh, in some of the posts. Yeah. yeah. Some of the YouTube videos. Yes. Cool. Yes. Of course. I came to visit Robert. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I'm glad that you guys made it. What is y'all's plan? What so are y'all going to do? We're set up down that way. We're going to run some shark lines into the channel right now. Sweet. And then we're pretty much going to fish through the night, try to get some snook, red, stuff like that. So. Sweetness. So uh, it's, is it okay if I go and visit yeah, with you guys a little bit? I was going to tell you, you could record us kayaking and running out baits. That's about us. Like yeah, that, yeah so. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna, as a matter of fact, I was going to fly the drone in a little bit. Okay. So yeah, uh, uh, right now we're going to rig, we pretty much got everything rigged up. We're just going to get the baits ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to run some, we got some whiting. We got the skipjack, a uh, bunch of fresh bait that they gave us down the beach of Buddy Mine Deaver. Nice, so, nice. So uh, we're going to kayak them out to the channel, try to see if we can get a black tip or a bull shark or something. And you guys are doing this, this uh, little trip is for fun? Just for fun. <laughs> yeah, I actually got to leave tomorrow and then I got to be back out Sunday to do a trip. So nice. We got plans tomorrow. I got to do tomorrow evening, but I got to be back out Sunday doing a fishing trip. So. This is all goodness right it's here. All just for fun. All right, freestyle. All right, badass, man. I featured the Prodigy fishing team in a couple of my videos. I have true admiration for these young outdoor enthusiasts, so I was thrilled they came to visit. I enjoy their company and love watching them do their thing. We had so much action this evening that I've decided to focus my next uploaded video specifically for tonight's catch. I will include some highlights though. You hooked up, Julio? Hey. Yes, hey. Woo! Oh my goodness. It's gonna be a pirate's earring. Sammy's just making noises. Beep, 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 beep. No. <laughs> He's pushing a button on it. Beep, 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 beep. Nacho, we need your show. How deep uh, does it does it make the noise? Uh, you, you know, to be honest, like, I don't know. I just got it. Oh. <laughs> it was a it was a like a cheap brand one, but uh -huh. check out what we found so far. Yeah. That was about the quarter. <laughs> a quarter and a penny? Oh yeah. It's a, it's a 26 quarter. cents. You can see it, the head. Wow. That's a penny right here. Who would leave a quarter out here? 
all alone? Not me. In this economy? Yeah. Okay, okay so maybe it's... So a little bit more to the right? Should be some uh, sunken car. You know, the chassis of a car. Eating, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's right here! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Well, double check, double, double check. Double check, double check. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That's uh, treasure hunt! That's gold! Rock, rock, rock! It is gold colored! Yeah, guys, so that is Robbie's, or part of Robbie's mackerel from today. How much did it, what did it measure, Robbie? 23 and a half. 23 and a half? Very nice. Baby kingfish. And uh, so we're just doing some, uh, just doing it kind of quickly. Uh, with garlic, butter, no oil, and uh, we are going to make some fish tacos right now. And we're gonna have over there. We're gonna have Noe and uh, Junior. They're uh, gonna prepare the pit for some surf and turf, also some meat. So, yeah, man, looking good tonight. Damn! So this was the one you cut today? Yep. Put it on the show for us. Oh man. Yeah? Oh wow. <laughs> That's really good. Nice. That's really good. Okay guys. Amazing tacos. Check it out. This is what Robbie's making. Boom. They are so good. Put a little avocado. Remember, they were kind of blackened and in, in uh, minced garlic. Putting a little lime. And we even forgot the, the pico de gallo, but they really didn't need it. Right. Amazing. This is fresh Spanish mackerel. Just caught today by the boy. Good job, son. It? All right, Mr. Noe. Looks like a rib night tonight. Yes, sir. We got all types of ribs. We got beef. We got pork. We got short ribs. We got an onion going also. 